Alrighty, so this is day two uh, of our workout program. So you've got full body workout yeah. today. All you uh, need is your mat, yourself, and some water. Ready to get into it? All right, we're gonna run through the warm up, get into our workout, and then we shall cool down. You need about 20 minutes. Let's get into this. Two and one. All right, 30 seconds, nice. Good. So with this, you wanna feel a slight stretch in the hamstrings or inside of the thighs, potentially even down the side of the body. Uh, but definitely through the back of the legs, warming up the thighs, lower back, uh, and also the core as well. All right. In 10 seconds, we're gonna go into a wide stance inchworm. Good, so in five. Nice, that felt good. And of course, breathing right through all the exercises, two and one. Okay, so keep your hands nice, nice same mat, and walk out forwards until you get into a plank position and come back so again you should feel a stretch in the hamstrings maybe a little bit of the inside of the thighs and just like a normal plank you don't want to let your core break so always staying active through the core right the way out and come back in good and in five seconds we're going to go for our plank step outs to get your core really switched on in two and one so lying down into a plank position and then he's going to step one foot out at a time, about 30 to 40 centimeters back to the center, and we alternate side to side. Nice, so you want to feel your core working with this, a little bit in the shoulders, and of course make sure you breathe right through the whole thing. Nice work, Papa, very good, very good. All right, 15 seconds, we go for one more round to finish off our warm-up. Good, last five. And three, two, one, nice work. All right, and one, all right, 30 seconds. Good. Nice. All right, so all right, in five seconds, we're gonna go into our wide stance inchworms, get the shoulders warm, stretch out through the hamstrings in two. And one, all right, now. Good, nice. Good, so staying braced through the core. Yep, good, nice. Down, over here, good. Good, nice work, 15 seconds. Last three. And one, okay, last one, plank step. Good, and one foot comes out. Nice, and back to the center. Yep, you got it. All right, 15 seconds, and then we're gonna take a quick breather, grab some water if you need it, and we shall get straight into our workout. All right, last three, two, and one, yeah. <laughs> And here, just get you to hinge forward. Nice, going as low as you can comfortably go until you feel the stretch in that front hamstring, and then come back up. Nice, so we're gonna do 30 seconds like this, and then we swap legs. Good, so the whole time that front leg is pressing against the resistance band to stabilize the knee, activate the glute, and the hamstring is doing the work as she leans forward. Good, very good. Nice work. I feel like you sweat much more on the side that is not facing the camera. <laughs> it's a lie. La last five. This is not easy. Three, three, two. And you're going to press the knees out against the resistance band as hard as you can. You're going to take a step to the right. Good. Yeah, step to the left. Good. And you're just going to alternate from side to side. Nice. Come back. Good. So we're just going side to side for 30 seconds. For this, you want to feel the glutes working. Important to keep your lower back nice and straight and always pressing the knees out against the band. Try and keep the knees outside the feet here. Three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, and one. All right, squat the toe touch. Off of the hands, off of the foot. Good, and pressing out against the resistance band. Nice, so you don't want to let those knees cave in. Good, nice, nice. So really driving out against the resistance band. 15 seconds. And then we're going to go straight into our... And 
then we're gonna go straight into our tuck jump. And then we're gonna go straight into our tuck jump. Stretch in the hamstring. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Good. Nice work, Alpha. Good. So keeping that glute active. Pressing the knee out. Good. 10 seconds. Getting nice and low. Very nice. Last three. Two. Alrighty, swap legs. Nice. Good, nice. Really press that knee out against the band. Especially as you start to get fatigued and tired, you don't want to let the form drop. If you start to get too tired and it's too much, take the band off. Keep continuing, but prioritize that form. Good. Pressing that knee out. Last five. That's it. Nice. Three, two, one. Alrighty, nice work. Next one is yeah. right crab walk. Knees always outside the feet. Nice. Good, keeping the knees outside and the back nice and straight. Good, nice work. Very, very good. All right, 10 seconds. Good, try to poke your butt back a little bit, pow pow, lean forward, that's it. Last three, two, and one. Nice work, all right, next one we've got off. Good, and again, pressing the knee out, driving the hips back. Good, and always keeping the back nice and straight. Nice work, 15 seconds. And then we go into our tuck jumps. Good, knees out wide. Last three, two, and one. All right, lying down, jumping in. Good. Those knees pressed out against the band, breathing every time, every rep with this one. You don't want to hold your breath through them, five seconds, and then we have our shoulder taps in three, two, one. All right, shoulder tap, opposite shoulder. Very nice, Carl. Yeah, good. You're really good at this. Am I? Yeah, you are. I know something. <laughs> you do it very, very well. You do it very, very well. Good, 10 seconds. I think a good kind of gauge is like how much you can talk. So you kind of want to be just, just a little bit too difficult to have a conversation. In three, two, one, nice work. All right, last one. Good, so about 70% of the weight on your front leg, pressing against the, knee, the band, the knee out to activate the glute. Good, nice, really driving this knee out. That's it, yep. Nice, a bit more weight on the front foot. Good. 15 seconds and we swap to the other leg. Getting that stretch in the hamstring, activating the glute. Nice. Last five. And three, two, one. Well done. Nice. Okay, 30 seconds on the other leg. Good work. Very nice. Last, last five seconds, and then we go into our crab walk. We'll really push that knee out. Two, 
and one. All right, go crab walk. Good, and really pressing the knee out. So the key with this is to take small steps and press the knee out hard. Good, push your butt back, keeping a nice straight back. Good, yeah, so kind of lean your body forward a little bit. That's, yep, yeah, that's it. Nice work. Good, last five seconds. That's it, lean the body forward, lean the body forward. And three, two, one. All right, opposite. Go for it, yep, yeah, nice. Good. Nice, now I'm pressing those knees out. Good, always, that's it, nice, very good. Always make sure you've got good form. Nice straight back, knees out wide. Good, knees out, knees out, knees out. Nice work, last 10. Five, and in three, two, one, very nice, all right, lying down in a high plank position, almost, jumping in, good, nice, jumping out, and again, following at home, making sure you breathe on every rep, your knees pressed out against the bend, this is the second last exercise, you're doing really well, you're almost there, all right, five seconds, that's Pat Pal's favorite, last three, two, one, okay, last one. Yeah, good, nice. Good, nice, flying through this one. Don't forget to breathe when you're following along at home. Last exercise after this is just the cool down. Good, 10 seconds. Good, no more, no more, no more. Last five, and in three, two, and one, yeah, very nicely done. Oh. Nice work, great work. Oh. Stance, and you're just aiming to keep your legs locked, get your hands as close to the floor as possible. Yeah, perfect, you're just gonna hold it. Focus on breathing here. If you've really got really good flexibility, you can put your hands across your shoulders and try to get your elbows to the floor, and that's it. Another 15 seconds, and just focus on breathing nice and deep here. We're gonna come back up, let the blood get back around your body. We're gonna bring our feet together. And we're going to do the same movement. All right, coming up in three, two, and one. Nice. Take okay, so stay feet together, feet locked, and you're just reaching down towards your toes, uh, aiming to get as close to the floor as you can with your hands, letting gravity take your body down, stretching out through the lower back, glutes, hamstrings, and calves, and again focusing on nice deep breath in, right down into the tummy, and deep breath out with this one. Hold for another 10, and then we're just gonna finish off with one last stretch, which is our child's pose down on the floor. All right, here, three, two, and one. Nice, you're just gonna sit back onto your heels, uh, let gravity drop your upper body down towards the floor, uh, head through your hands. Well, you've actually got really great like, flexibility, like upper body flexibility, like shoulders go, go really well. Uh, yeah, yeah, really good. Uh, so with this you should feel a stretch through your shoulders, arms, uh, uh, potentially even down your tricep, bicep, and forearm, but definitely through the shoulders, and slowly letting gravity take you for another three, two, and one. Yeah, we're all done. Very, very nicely done. Great work. Feeling okay? Amazing. Give Papa a big hand. Thank you for doing the workout for me. It's much appreciated. All good.